What's going on, everybody? Today we're going to talk about the TV stand here that I put together with my wife. Total assembly time was roughly 45 minutes, and you definitely want to have a second person to help you out. Not because it's difficult, but because this thing is very long, and yes, you need somebody to kind of keep things in line. I would also recommend using a level if you don't want to loosen and tighten a couple of times. That is another good point. Don't tighten everything up all the way because there are some pieces that are meant to kind of move around and shuffle and adjust while you put in the vertical bars and all of that. So yeah, tighten it all up at the very end. That way you can get everything situated just right. One thing I do want to point out, a feature that is not very common in these inexpensive pieces of furniture is there are metal inset into the wood itself. So when you are actually screwing these things in, tightening them up, you're not tearing up the wood, and that's something I was absolutely not expecting at this price. So you're actually putting the screws into a piece of metal, and it's protecting the wood, and it's just, just a really good feature. I'm very impressed with that. The furniture itself definitely hits above its price point. It feels and looks like a much more expensive piece of furniture. Um, as I said, we are not using this as a TV stand. We're using this as more of a credenza. We've got our phone, we've got some knickknacks, we've got our stereo and some records, CDs, stuff like that sitting on it. We're kind of using this as an entertainment center, but not a TV entertainment center. And for that purpose, it's working really well. And I gotta admit, I was shocked that I could get this piece of furniture for this price and it just looks that great. So if you're interested in picking one of these things up, I definitely recommend it. It works very well, it is very versatile, and it looks super sharp.